We pray God they would serve you all the days of their lives. Everybody, make sure that you go subscribe to Isaiah Saldivar on YouTube. So, let's get going. Hi friends, welcome. I host family prayer at my house once a month, and this is how I do it. I hope this encourages you all to do it as well. You can do it with your neighbors, your best friends, your family, absolutely anyone if there's one other person or 20 of you. Some iced coffee for moral support and because it's delicious. I send a group text about two weeks prior letting everyone know which date we're doing and then I send a reminder the morning of. Writing my to-do list because I'm a list girl. Come on, Mom. Let's go toys. Okay. Sit down, Mom. Okay, I'll sit down. Where are we going? Something I try to be really intentional about is stopping to play with my kids, being in the moment, especially when they ask me. I'm not always perfect at it, and sometimes I have to say in a minute or in a little bit, but I try really hard to do that. There will always be something to be done or cleaned, especially on a busy day with people coming over, but my kids will not always be this little and home God, with me. God, we thank you for this morning. We pray for a good nap and a good night with family. We love you in the name of Jesus. Amen. All right, so my daughter's down for a nap. My son is having his quiet time in his room. I'm not sure how long either of those are gonna last, so I'm gonna try to get as much done as possible. I still need to clean the toy room, finish the folded laundry because I end up getting interrupted. Um, I'm gonna freshen up the bathrooms. What else? Gotta clean up the backyard, put some water in the fridge, a couple things like that. I need to read and pray as well, so let's get going. I have a whiteboard in my front room and I just write out the agenda and any special prayer requests. I only buy bottled water when I know people are coming over. <laughs> And as you can see, my son has made his entrance. His quiet time didn't last too long. <laughs> Chad is home, and now it's time to put him to work. <laughs> Just kidding, but this is his job because he can reach the very top, and I don't have to get a stool out. Make sure that you go subscribe to Isaiah Saldivar on YouTube and uh, all the other pages. Thank you. I'm filming her filming me. Hello. Look at my chin. Check this out. So it's all these features, right? Look at this one. Watch. This is the best one. Look at, look at my teeth. Lipstick, blush. You can do makeup, smooth out. Come back here. You can buy anyone, any brand. My family is very affectionate. <laughs> Some more than others, but. Yeah, it's hard to think when you're being. Stevie, let me see your fresh baked That's why I couldn't get it to fix. I'm like, dude, shoving it in. Yes, work it. I always try to prepare some snacks, but my family all brought something, which is so nice.
Okay, so our format is we hang out for about 30 to 45 minutes. Then we all gather in the living room and my husband and I will share testimonies or whatever the Lord puts on our heart to share with the family. We take prayer requests, then we start praying. We put on some worship music. Sometimes we all walk around and we pray by ourselves and then we pray for each other. This time specifically, I felt like we needed to lay hands on every person. So we got in a circle and we just took turns praying for each other, as you can see here. There is no right or wrong way to do it. It's whatever you feel the Lord leading you to do. You can blast music and all pray separately by yourselves. You can hold hands in a circle. You can lay hands on each person. You can do whatever you feel like doing. And sometimes we do all three of those. I know everyone has such busy lives and I never want it to feel like another obligation. I never want people to feel bad if they can't come. I just want my home to be open. I want to provide the opportunity if anyone needs prayer or a pick me up or just fellowship, whatever they need. I want my home to be a home of prayer. I want my family to be a family of prayer. And there is so much power in our unity. And I invite all my family that lives nearby, not only the people that are already saved, but lost loved ones as well. I think it's so important that our kids see us pray together for each other. They see their aunts and uncles, mom and dad, all praying together. And that's going to be a normal thing for them. And of course, it's important to lay hands on them as well, train them up in prayer. We usually have the kids pray with us in the beginning, but this time we did it at the end. But we always have time where the kids are involved in prayer, where we pray for them, they pray for us, we all pray together. And then we like to have a little dance party. I got these ribbons for them off Amazon. They each picked a color and we had so much fun. The adults like them too. I really hope this was helpful and encouraging. I hope you try it, whether you're in a studio apartment or a big house, just start. Start prayer and see what God does. And if you enjoyed this, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really means so much to me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.